maybe I'll put like a valve on this one side so it just wash this by itself. See it? Just playing with gold. I think it's kind of pretty. Mm -hmm. How it swirls. Just a little bit. Should start really moving. do it all by itself, I don't have to do nothing, even if I overload it, like put a ton in there, as long as it's ran through this screen first, it'll, it will move, it will disappear, and uh, gold will be what's left over. Hopefully at least. not going to be much, maybe a gram or two, <clears throat> but as we get better, we'll get more of it. The more equipment we build and other places that we go. The better it'll get. Well, I'm hoping that this weekend I can go up on the... up to the, mount the mountains this weekend and get a hold of Tony go get some stuff to you gonna film Tony again right Crazy. I think you'll like Tony Tony's a good cat Ooh. and he's a Comstock and if you know anything about gold Comstock is who you want in your back pocket it's like a hound for it because of his name you ever heard of the Comstock load? No. no. It was a gold strike in um, California. Oh, really? One of the richest. Really? Then it was a Comstock? Or was it Arizona? I don't know. One of the two places. Yeah. And it was a Comstock. Mm. They told Tony when he was younger that there was no more gold 
because they were trying to detour him from catching the gold fever. Why? And then, then he meets Carlene, and Carlene got him hooked. How'd and she do that? I thought he was a surfer. Yeah, a surfer and all of that. When he was growing up, his parents were like, there's no more gold. Really? You know, go do what you need to do and go do join the military want. and do that. And they didn't want him to be a minor? They didn't want him to be a minor because it's hard and it's dangerous. Yeah. And Fate. Yeah, they lied to him all these years. Told him that there was no gold to get anywhere? Yeah. Anywhere! Yeah. That there was just no gold to get and it wasn't worth going after. Oh. And then he met Carlene, and Carlene brought him to the light. So yeah. She showed him how to go gold mining. And he was hooked ever since, huh? Yeah, he's been hooked ever since. Yeah, as soon as he had a little flake mm -hmm. in his hand, that was it. Mm -hmm. So we've been prospecting together ever since. Wow. The Comstock. Cool. I'm almost to the bottom of the bucket. Now that's where all the gold is going to concentrate up because gold's heavier than everything else. Um, I did notice on um, the first time that I cleaned it, some of my gold had mercury on it. And that's not to be alarmed. That's usually what happens when you go up to. Uh, get gold on the gunnison because you'll find mercury in it. That's why there's no fish in the gunnison. That's why yeah. you're not supposed to eat the fish in the gunnison that are there. Mm -hmm. Mercury poisoning. That so. is also why Colorado is high in cancer. Yeah. I believe it. Because of all the stuff, the uranium mines. Mm -hmm. oh. Lots of mining. Lots of mining. Colorado is a wonderful, beautiful but place. But if you're doing this, you're actually cleaning up the mercury out of the river. So mining can actually be good for rivers here. Right. I mean, I already pulled trash out of there. Yeah. Um, lots of lead. That last batch that I ran, it has a whole bunch of lead in my pot now. With all my little miniature rocks. I'll show you. Yeah, there's a bunch of lead in here. Can't see it on the top. Lead. That's glass. Some shiny stuff. Glass. And potentially there could be gold in here, but very unlikely this is Colorado. Now, if we're in Alaska, Wait. this is Alaska size gold. Shiny thing. Glass. Yeah. More glass. Wow. Yeah. That's oh, what I... look. Yeah. More glass. More glass. See, you got a lot of glass. Yeah. See, if you become a miner, you can get glass. <laughs> Just kidding. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They're so cute. They're little pebbles. Look, that that is concrete. Or not? Mm. Or is it a fossil? Did you just... You smelled it. Right? Why? Oh, because... Oh, that's calcium. Oh. It's calcium? I was going to taste it, but... Knowing that these rocks came out of the Gunnison, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, it'll only make you trippy if you lick it. <laughs> right? <laughs> You only get sick if you lick it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you can see the swirl has brought most of my material closer and closer to the center. Pretty soon it's going to really start dumping. But it's all lightweight. It's all of the stuff that I don't want or need. It is going into another bucket below their catch. And I'll check it again just to make sure that there's no gold in it. 
the last time I did this run, um, I lost probably about 1% out of all of it. I went panned it, panned it by hand, and I got six, seven flakes out of it. Oh, okay. That's so, okay. And then that's for a loss, that's decent. Yeah. That means there's a lot more to catch. Plus, it took me a while to figure out where the levels are at and how fast I need this to be spinning to keep the gold inside the bowl. That's about where I'm at right now. So we'll go through all of this. It might take me a day, day and a half, and then I'll have a, a little bit of gold to look at. But and we'll be that's back it. with updates. 22. And we'll be back with updates um, in a day, tomorrow or so, and we'll tell you much we got and what we got. Maybe. Alright. I haven't decided if I want to tell anybody how much gold there is. Well. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm yeah. sure there's a couple grams here. I'm sure people want to know if this makeshift home made at home thing because everybody gets a blue bowl and I couldn't find a blue bowl or otherwise I would have. Quit trying to lift that corner. I'm not. Touching me. 